Um, I'm kind of at a loss for words. These these sandwiches. I think that it's it's almost hard to describe because I'm like kind of well I'm I'm a little sad that that's over. Yeah. Um, I had to sun these boys, can't leave them bastards A lot of dudes, just some undercover actors I don't fall for it, I'm privy to all your tactics Yeah, so try again, it's time to take a vitamin Yeah, and vitamin, welcome to the- We're here at Open Market in Koreatown, Los Angeles In addition to their unique sandwiches This little bodega carries a curated selection of snacks, sauces, and some other fun provisions Get a nice candle for Lisa Should I? You give her so many bad smells, give her a good smell. (laughs) Brian was in the process of crafting up a new coffee drink he calls the Orange Bubble. A shot of espresso with a hit of bubbly water and orange zest. Shot my ass right to the moon. This drink is now on their menu. So you paid last time? Yep. So you can take my brand new credit card. I'll take care of this one. We ordered the Olympic sandwich, which is a spicy little number with lemongrass chicken thighs, and the Normandy, which is their French dip style sandwich. I also grabbed a t-shirt. What do you think? It's fine. We didn't come here for t-shirts. Let's go eat. Yeah, so (laughs) the chicken, is perfect. It's a little spicy from the Serrano aioli, but it's not over the top. I mean, it, it's it's awesome. The bread is perfect. Everything's great. There's no weak link in these sandwiches. Mm-mm. Like everything is super dialed in. Mm-hmm. Like, they know what they're doing there. You can tell. Like they're all excited to talk about what they're making. Everyone there was excited. Totally. I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna take another bite. This is so good. Ugh. These sandwiches, I feel like you have to really understand a sandwich to and flavors and stuff and be open to the uniqueness of something different. So like the French dip is a very familiar sandwich to a lot of people. You know, it's it's served with a side of au jus, which is the meat drippings that you know you can that accompanies the sandwich so well. In their case, as he showed us, Marco. He ferments everything. Mm -hmm. He starts with ground down sourdough bread that he turns into, basically uses as a starter, and turns that into basically miso paste, which he uses for his sauces, for flavoring everything in the shop. So you can taste that in the aiolis, yep. in you know his his soy sauce, the sauces they make that they that they um, that they cook the meat in and everything. So it all is like this weird incubator. It's like they're doing stuff at this little bodega that you'd see at like a fine dining restaurant kitchen. All right, should we wrap it up? You say thanks for watching. I say thanks for watching. And then we get up, let's take our trash. All right, let's take our trash. No, we take the trash, you don't say that. Okay. Jesus Christ. Stop that.